Here is everything you need to know about your third stimulus check. We got Pelosi targeting March 14th for Biden's signature. We also got tax returns. We also got a where to fire taxes as well. You guys want to stay tuned. Also, before we begin, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. We're doing a giveaway at the end of the month. I have a short video I want to um, present to you guys here shortly, but first we're going to be talking about the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now she said on Thursday that she believes the COVID relief package, which is likely to include the $1,400 checks that President Joe Biden has insisted on, will be on Biden's desk by March 14th. So that's pushing the envelope forward, literally. And like I said, they keep giving out dates and all that we can do is really, you know, hold them up to their word and make sure that they're accountable. You know, so March 14th seems to be the date that they're saying it's going to be on Biden's desk then or before. So the decision will be up to Biden. Now, it also mentions that this is the deadline for when jobless benefits will begin expiring as well. So if you are un on unemployment and you're receiving that um, extra $600, that's when that will actually be expiring. And hopefully they will present some type of new um new package or some type of you know new relief for that as well it also talks about the house ways and means committee approved measures thursday which includes the much anticipated fourteen hundred dollar anticipated fourteen hundred dollar direct payments as well as monthly child tax payments now this could affect people and individuals making up to $75,000 and couples making up to $150,000 would receive the full amount. You know, so if you guys are, you know, within within that description, you guys will be qualified for that. Now the amounts would be phased out to zero at $100,000 and $200,000. You know. So if you guys Got questions regarding this? Drop the comments below as well. We're gonna actually get into this video. I'm gonna get into this video here soon. And um, yeah, just drop the comments below. Also, if you are figuring out or wondering where to fire taxes, you can fire taxes right now. Use my code in the description. You'll actually get 20% off of TurboTax and you will receive $25 gift card. But you have to use my code, which is in the description. Very, very simple to use. And like I said, you can actually get accepted right now. So you might want to go ahead and get on that. But yeah, let's get right into this video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. If you guys got any questions, as I mentioned, drop the comments below. Despite just a one vote majority in the Senate and an impeachment trial now beginning, pressure is on Democrats to follow through on President Biden's promised $1.9 trillion stimulus plan in just a few weeks. The Biden administration has been very adamant that they want this thing passed and signed uh, before mid-March, at which point Tens of millions of people are going to lose unemployment benefits if no action is taken. So. Jeff Stein is the White House economics reporter for The Washington Post, who broke the news Sunday that as part of the plan, Democrats will include an expanded child tax credit of $3,000 for each kid ages 6 to 17 and $3,600 for each kid under 6. Like previous stimulus payments, the size of the credit will begin to shrink for individuals who make more than $75,000 a year or couples making more than $150,000. And according to the White House press secretary, That's something he certainly would support. President Biden is on board, but there is less clarity around the next round of stimulus checks. Democrats agree on $1,400 checks, but the party is split on who should qualify. Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia has been pushing for the checks to be more targeted to those making less, favoring a plan that would begin phasing out payments at $50,000 for individuals instead of $75,000 and $100,000 for couples instead of $150,000. We have heard and we will hear a lot more about Senator Joe Manchin. Why is his opinion and his vote in this so critical? Joe Manchin is the most conservative Senate Democrat by a pretty significant degree. And all it takes is a single defection among Senate Democrats that are 50 of them. All it takes is one of them to vote against this bill and the whole thing comes crashing down. So Manchin has a ton of power here as the most conservative senator to mold the bill as he wants. But Stein says Senator Bernie Sanders is part of a group of more liberal Democrats who are pushing to keep the same income guidelines as previous checks. They have been arguing that 
to lower the threshold so dramatically would cut tens of millions of people off of these payments and amount to really a betrayal of the campaign promise that they say is, was uh, essential for Democrats taking control of power in Washington. Stein says that puts even more pressure on the White House to strike a deal, something even his Treasury Secretary agrees with. We need a big package and we need to get this done quickly. They are kind of caught in the middle here trying to navigate the two poles of their caucus, trying to make sure everyone's happy so the whole bigger relief package doesn't come crashing down. If we know anything about Washington, it's that things can change and things might not always happen the way that they're presented. What does it look like right now if you had to give odds to something like this actually happening? I think it's pretty certain at this point, not assured, but pretty likely um, that both this new child benefit and the stimulus payments, $1,400 per person, are approved in some form within the next few weeks. Um, I think it's still an open question about exactly what the thresholds are and, and who, who qualifies and who is eligible. Now, because of that last question, Stein says expect some negotiation on those income guidelines. And he said it's really just too early to tell where that dollar figure might land on how much you make and if you are targeted, Jana. Oh, well, Kent, that's what everybody wants to know. So I'm going to give you a pass, but you got a couple weeks to figure it out. So let's go to the child tax credit. There's already a $2,000 tax credit for children. So this is just a big increase of that, or is this in addition to? What is this? Well, yes and no. Uh, it is an increase to the $3,000 or $3,600. Uh, so it's not in addition to the 2000, it's simply increasing it, but it also will bring in more people. The proposal would expand it to more low-income people who don't necessarily qualify for the full amount as it is right now. And the, big other, the other big change here is that it would be paid out monthly starting in July. The idea then being that families get it more timely. It's not just a once a year lump sum, Jenna. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks so much, Kent. I have a short video I want to um, present to you guys here shortly, but first we're going to be talking about the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now, she said on Thursday that she believes the COVID relief package, which is likely to include the $1,400 checks that President Joe Biden has insisted on, will be on Biden's desk by March 14th. So that's pushing the envelope forward, literally. And like I said, they keep giving out dates, and all that we can do is really you know, hold them up to the word and make sure that they're accountable. You know, so March 14th seems to be the date that they're saying it's going to be on Biden's desk then or before. So the decision will be up to Biden. I have a short video I want to um, present to you guys here shortly. But first, we're going to be talking about the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Now, she said on Thursday that she believes the COVID relief package, which is likely to include the $1,400 checks that President Joe Biden has insisted on, will be on Biden's desk by March 14th. So that's pushing the envelope forward, literally. And like I said, they keep giving out dates. And all that we can do is really you know, hold them up to their word and make sure that they're accountable. You know, so March 14th seems to be the date that they're saying it's going to be on Biden's desk then or before.